Welcome back to Retirement News Online. Pension benefits are typically a fixed monthly payment in retirement that is guaranteed for life. Now, some pension benefits grow with inflation. Other pension benefits can be passed on to a spouse or a dependent, but pensions aren't the only financial route to guaranteed lifetime income after you retire. And my guest is Sam Olson with Bonsai Financial Services in Phoenix, Arizona. Sam, thanks for joining us. Let's begin by talking about the best way to optimize your pension income these days. Yeah, Scott, well, thanks for having me, first of all. Um, when it comes to pension optimization, uh, really what we're looking at is pension uh, supplementing. There's a couple different ways we can supplement your, um, your pension. Uh, the first is, we want to look at the difference between what's called a single life annuity and the joint and survivorship annuity. And these are the options you have when you take the pension uh, when you retire. Now, with a single life annuity, you're insuring your life only. And that means when you pass away, if you pass away first, um, your spouse or beneficiary will not get to continue those lifetime payments. So what a lot of people will do is they'll take another option that is called joint and survivorship option. Now what this does is it allows you to insure their life as well. So when you pass away, they will get to continue those payments for life. Uh, but there's a cost for this. So you get a, a lower payment up front. Now that cost, we have ways here to minimize that cost um, and that'd be using life insurance what we could do is try to find a policy that, m that might be cheaper than that cost and it could still get you a benefit for your spouse if you were to pass away first. Um, and what we want to do is look at that earlier on if we can. A lot of people wait until they're making that decision to retire and then realize that they may want to, to take advantage of this. But if we can look at it earlier on in, retire in your uh, working career, you may be able to get that protection cheaper because you're younger and healthier and those insurance costs are gonna be cheaper. So Sam, usually pensioners have the option of taking payments or a lump sum, which is better? Great question, Scott. I get that all the time. There's a couple different uh, scenarios I see the most. Um, number one would be someone who is just at retirement and they have a fairly large pension payment coming or they have a, a larger lump sum because they've been working for a number of years. At that point, it's, it's really specific to what might be going on there. I will say in general, without knowing someone's situation, most of the time at that point, we're gonna be looking at the lifetime payments. They're just probably gonna make more sense. Uh, however, um, there are times, and it may have to do with health or a specific family need, that it just makes sense to maybe take that lump sum and have that money up front for whatever that, that situation is. Something we want to look at, like I said, individually each time. The other scenario I see, and I probably see this more often, is somebody who's younger early on in their career and is switching jobs. So uh, maybe a teacher who is leaving one school to go to another school in another state and they've worked for five, seven, ten years and they're gonna still be working for another 10 to 20 years or so. So they might have a smaller pension amount and their option there is to take that lump sum and they can move that to their own retirement account or to leave it sit in the pension fund and wait until they're eligible to take that pension. Now that might be age 50, 55, sometimes it's 60. So that money would be sitting there for possibly 15 to 20 to 25 years and it's in the pension fund invested conservatively and a lot of times we can do better again though it really does make make sense to just talk to a professional and see for your individual situation what that might look like now how can retirees coordinate pension income with their retirement accounts and social security okay yeah so that's another good one um, one overlooked area is the importance of that Social Security and the timing of it. So many people don't understand how when you take Social Security can affect the big picture, how it affects your pension and your retirement account withdrawals. So Social Security, you can take anywhere from age 62 to 70. In that eight years, it's roughly double the amount. So if you delay to age 70, you're getting 
about twice as much as you would at age 62. And that works also for your cost of living adjustments, COLA you might have heard. So not only are you almost doubling your payment by waiting that eight years, you're also doubling your cost of living adjustment. And one other thing with Social Security, it's taxed less. It's more tax efficient than your pension or taking income from your retirement accounts. So what we like to do is look at this all up front, the earlier the better, get your projections on what all these numbers might be, and come up with a plan where maybe you're drawing down some of your retirement accounts in early retirement so that you can delay your Social Security and get that higher, more tax efficient uh, payment from Social Security, and that lasts a lifetime as well. So there's a lot that goes into this. It's, it's, it's a, a lot of times it's something, a plan we may develop early and then it, it changes as we go along, but we really want to be cognizant of that. It can really make a big difference in your retirement and save you a lot in taxes. At Sam Olson in Phoenix, Arizona, this is Retirement News Online. Thanks for watching.